Hello, um, today I'm going to open a whole bunch of Muppet cars. Um, I've got Hot Wheels, and then I've got um, Winner's Circle, um, and these are, these are much older, and I don't know a lot about the company, um, Action, um, but they seem very cool, so I'm excited to get to that. Um, I also got a couple of cars that I'm not going to open. Um, so the first of those that I'm not going to open is this one, um, which is also action, but um, but it's a it's just such a beautiful card. Like it's embossed with the Muppet Show 25 years, and even the uh, even the the details on the car are just. It's so much fun. I am. Um, I guess it's no reason not to open it, but the card itself is just. It's too nice to. I don't wanna. I don't wanna damage it. I don't know. I, uh, there's not a lot that I wanna keep in cards generally, but. This one, I just. I just. I don't know. Perhaps I need to, to think about it. Um, one funny thing about this, though, is this warning saying that it's a scale replica intended for adult collectors and not suitable for individuals under 21. So that makes me laugh. Um, okay. So um, the other one that I'm not going to open, I'll show. I'll show later uh, in a, the proper context. So let's... Uh, How are we doing this? Okay. Um, so first of all, um, I have one of these already opened. The Gonzo uh, 32, what is it? Oh, it doesn't say on the back. It says on the back of the other boxes though. So it's the 32 Ford is Gonzo's card, or car. And um, it's fun, you know, it's a little hot rod. Um, I love Gonzo's face. Really, the the color makes this. It's a really nice metallic blue, and uh, it goes well with the red on the the wheels, the five spokes, and uh, just just Gonzo's face and head. Metallic blue for for his hair, and then like a metallic purple for his nose. It's great. Um, I feel like, and this is a car that doesn't need more than two passes. Um, because the back, I mean, it's got one, to say the Muppets, but the front is a uh, chrome. I'm not sure if it has an interior. I'm sure it's got something. Yeah, there's a steering wheel there. Very fun to this one. I like it. I like it quite a lot. Um, uh, I'm sure that that's, that's a Hot Wheels casting that's already exist. I think they all are. Um, I don't think any of them are new. Um, I feel like Hot Wheels does this thing sometimes. They vary between creating completely new character cars, like the Buzz Lightyear um, series this year, um, or the, some of the Star Wars ones, like the one that's a big Darth Vader helmet, for instance. And then just taking existing castings and just plopping the uh, character's face on the side, um, which is obviously what this is, but I still like it. The color, the colors really work. And um, I, I, I have a lot of affection for the face they plastered on the side. So for the rest of them, let's do them in order. That's, that's car number two. Uh, car number one is Kermit. It's got a, a great enthusiastic picture of Kermit on it. Uh, classic Nomad. The back of these cards have not a lot. It just says the, the cards that are in the series. Um, these ones, zero to three. A four-year-old can use them, so you don't have to be 21 to use these Muppet cars. Um, so let's, uh, let's open this, this bad boy up classic nomad. So 
I assume this is a real car, although I haven't looked into it at all. Chevy Nomad, okay, so it is. It's like a, almost a Koi Kermit on the side. Uh, again, five spokes, but um, very thin, very thin spokes. Gray kind of sparkly bottom, it's okay. Works for the, for the front. It seems weird to waste a color pass on the top just for those two, when I think the headlights would have been a better use of, uh, use of it. I like the orange line down the side with the Muppets thing over top of it. Um, I think this is a pretty cool... I mean, this is a pretty cool casting just in general. There's no back window and no side windows here. Um, again, I mean, it's whatever the car is with the character's face on the side. So, I mean, I don't know how wrong or right you can go. But the, the colors here, they work. And I like it. It sounds good as the Gonzo one, but maybe it's because I don't like Kermit's face as much as I like Gonzo's face. All right, on to number three. So it goes in order. Um, Kermit, then Gonzo is number two, and then Piggy's number three. Um, here's the picture they use, uh, which is a very modern. I mean, I guess this is the logo for the Muppet, uh, the new Muppet movie they made a, a few years ago. Um, so yeah, this is a very modern looking Miss Piggy. Um, and once again, we have a real car casting. Uh, okay. And it's the, uh, custom Volkswagen Beetle. I mean, obviously it's custom. Not the wheel. I mean, these wheels don't even make any sense to me, but uh, I do really like this tongue looking front. And um, I actually feel like this might be the coolest car so far. The piggy picture is great. Um, and the car itself. At first glance, I thought I was gonna hate it, but it's it's just got so much going on. It's, uh, you can't even notice the Muppet logo. I, I wish they didn't have to have it on every car or any of the cars, really. The internal molding's interesting. Is that, a, is that a mistake? No, that's part of it. What is that? There's something in that window. I do not understand what it is. These back windows are really cool. Um, yeah, so if this is a real casting, I, I might seek out more of this just in general, but I mean, it's gonna be hard to top this like metallic pink for a color though. I haven't seen that on a Hot Wheel before and it's, it's really nice. Is it like a metallic rose almost? Or not rose, well no rose I think. He's great. The eyes are great. Okay, new winner, I think, so far. And then the remaining two are going to be um, fantasy cars. So we have Fozzie Bear. Um, and again, yeah, a modern picture of Fozzie Bear, but uh, they didn't stray very far from the classic Fozzie um, for the new movie. And this is the cool one, is the car. Um, you get more of Fozzie than just his face. You get his shoulders and a bit of his necktie. Jeez, that's a big, again, it's um, five spoke and 
the thin spokes, but look at the size of that wheel. This is very hot roddy minivan. I'm not even sure. It's like an armored car. Hang on. I don't know what it is. Are these like uh, intakes or are they speakers? The gold chrome is pretty cool though. And the fact that it's like the windows are gold chrome uh, is also really cool. Yeah, I mean, it's cool from, wow, those spin nice. Sorry, I'm so used to looking at premium die cast lately that, uh, oh, these are so small. I'm so used to looking at premium die cast lately that, uh, that don't roll very well. This would be really good on the track, I think. The way that the weight, the way that the weight is, uh, is sort of like in this front middle area. This one's, this one's interesting. I've never seen, I've never seen this fantasy casting before. And the final Hot Wheel Muppet car, Animal. Um, definitely a modern picture of Animal or a picture of the modern Animal, but that's okay. Still looks great, still looks chaotic. Um, the people at, at uh, Jim Henson Company are still, they still hire really talented people. Ground Effects is the name of this car. And um, it actually looked pretty, looks pretty interesting through the, uh, so I'm kind of excited to see what this one's like. Let's, uh, okay. All right, uh, that doesn't look anything like Animal. That's, that's the first picture that I have disliked. But let's look at the car. Oh, it's, the car says Dr. Teeth, so I guess it's more of a, they're trying to make it into an electric mayhem vehicle, although. I mean, it just says Dr. Teeth. This seems like it would be a really fast car from the, from the like shape and the like inside wheels, but they're really, this, I mean, the stance is really low. I mean, it's fast like this, but it, it would not be very fast in the track, I don't think. And the wheels are really thin, so I think that's gonna, that's gonna hurt it in, in terms of uh, going straight. In a track, that's not gonna be a problem, but if you're just racing it on the ground with your schoolyard pals, I like the cockpit. I mean, this is a really interesting idea for a, like a, a I mean, inspired by like track racing cars. Um, it's really, it's really a, got an attractive silhouette, I think. And I, I like it with the Dr. Teeth here. It, it, it probably would have been better if it was just like Dr. Teeth instead of Animal, but I understand that, you know, when you're picking characters, Dr. Teeth isn't as popular a character as, as Animal, but they kind of fucked up the illustration of Animal, and uh, this Dr. Teeth thing does make me wish that it was, they had done, you know, one slightly less bankable character. You know, where's my big mean Carl car? Okay, so. I'm getting them all out of order here, but I've, really my intention is just to get them out of the way. Okay, now these cars, um, they're not in any kind of order or anything. Uh, so they're from, I don't even know how I came across these on eBay, I guess. Um, and so this is the autographed hood series. And I wasn't paying very much attention when I picked these up because I picked them up over the course of a, a few weeks. 
in one of the cars that I got. was, again, animal. Um, but it, uh, and it's the same winter circle, but this is the driver sticker series. So it's got a signature, the same as the hood, um, but this is a sticker and it's, um, it's a completely different series of cars. So this is, this is a drag car um, with, with animal on it and a, and a much more fun rendering of animal. Um, but I'm, I don't want to open this one with the NASCAR ones because these are all NASCARs. Um, so I'm going to try and track down more of these. There's actually, on the back here, it says collect all the winner's circle 164th scale items. So there's the race hood series, which is what I've got. Oh no, I have the autographed hood series. So I guess there's another one that's just non-autographed hoods. One that's license plates, driver sticker series, and lifetime series. Now, I don't know if they did um, a Muppet version of all of those, but they've clearly done a Muppet version of the driver sticker and uh, these autographed hoods. So let's 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 see what let's see what this is all about. Um, it's a reproduced autograph, so you know whoever it is, Ricky. doesn't even say whose autograph it is. I guess I'm just supposed to know the name of uh, NASCAR guys. Um, anyway, uh, not his real autograph, it's reproduced. The pictures are um, like like a simplified, like there's no outlines at all. It's just the colors, um, which is interesting. Um, and at first I thought I wasn't gonna like it, but it's kind of grown on me. It's, you know, it's just a different way to represent the, represent them. It does look good. So let's take a look inside. Oh, they don't open easy. All right, before we look at the car, let's take a look at this hood. That's just plastic. Um, oh, it's got little, Latches, Phoenix, Arizona, copyright Henson and trademark. I don't know what this is for, maybe for mounting it somehow. Um, I mean, I guess these are, these are kind of attractive. If you had a bunch of them and uh, you collect them, put them all up, I don't know. I don't know, I'm not a doctor. Okay. So here we have a completely different picture of Gonzo. Um, oh, he's, he's dressed up all nice. And chili, chili peppers? There's a line of chili peppers along the bottom. There's about 50,000 sponsors. Um, wheels are plastic. Um, but nicely decorated. Uh, Haveline. Uh, painted taillights with the number and a uh, sponsor on them, which doesn't seem very realistic. Ford. Uh, oh, it's a completely different picture of Gonzo on this side. Um, I don't know what he's wearing there. Less attractive, I'll tell you that. sponsors and here's yet a third um, though familiar of course from from the the bigger version of the hood and again the headlight has the number on it uh, maybe that's a NASCAR thing I honestly I I'm not even gonna pretend I know anything about NASCAR the bottom is surprisingly detailed um, and it looks like it's got two Two holes for like mounting it on something. It's got some kind of mesh net. Um, something also in the window. I'm 
sure there's, yeah, there's a roll cage in there. There's all white interior. I mean, that's cool. That's a cool car. I mean, I love the, I love the detail in, uh, not the car itself, but the, they just like, they, they didn't, uh, they didn't half-ass it with the, uh, with the deco. Like, it's not like just put Gonzo's face on the side. They went, you know, they had three full Gonzo portraits. Uh, that's cool. That's, um, I don't know. They put some work into it. They cared about it. I respect that. And the art style, and the art style is, let's move these out of the way just cause they're gonna clutter things up. Um, and the art style is growing on me. Okay, so this is the Swedish chef, um, which I was saying before that uh, less bankable Muppets on the cars would be nice. And, and this is, this is kind of what I meant. Um, bill something? I don't know. I don't know NASCAR drivers any more than I know about NASCAR itself. Okay, so I'll take a quick look. A quick look at the hood. Um, same style, you know, not a lot of outlining going on, um, but again, very expressive uh, of the character. Doing the chef's kiss. And uh, what do we have? Again, nice wheels, plastic, but uh, impeccably uh, detailed. I don't know what he's doing there. Oh, he's just freaking out. Um, okay, let's see if we can, let's see if we can figure out what is going on there. Oh, it's like ladles and frying pans. Okay. Um, that's probably the same bunch of sponsors. No car, oh yeah, car number nine. Okay, so that's, that's the one we've seen. And here he's juggling a tomato Maybe an apple? Maybe it's just different colors of apples. Car number on the light again. Sponsor on this light. See your local Dodge dealer. Yeah. Again, it's um almost exactly the same. But with uh Actually, I don't know a lot about NASCAR, but this is not, this is not the same casting. Um, for some reason I thought they were, I mean, because they look so similar, but the windows are different. Um, I mean, I, one's a Ford and one's, one's a Dodge. Let's get, this one's got the bar in the middle. Okay, so I guess there is more to this. Yeah, this has got this. This, uh, oh no, they both do. Well, the details of the casting are honestly less interesting to me than the pictures of the Muppets. I'll admit that right now. Okay, again. We have a Muppet that's not like, you know, top, top tier, like, you know, you want to get people in with the Muppets, you do this, but I mean, Ralph, amazing Muppet, one of my favorites. Um, glad to see they picked him. Like, you know, 
what do we have? Gonzo? Gonzo is probably the most like mainline Muppet we have in, the, in this whole set. Um, so I can't even, I can't even tell what name is on that. But let's take a look at the card. Oh, the, it's piano along the bottom, that's great. And that almost looks like a photograph of Ralph. That does too. That's interesting. Oh, okay, so this is a this is an instance where they did duplicate the art. I mean this is a it's still a really nice looking uh I mean you've got two portraits of Ralph. That one and then the one on the hood. And uh yeah. The final car is Dr. Bunsen, Burner, and Beaker. Again, you know, secondary characters, uh, which I love to see. I love to see it. want you to know what their name is. Um, again, here we have a non-photographic looking, you know, with the the more expressive style of the uh, the first two, um, which I like. I prefer to the Ralph one. And uh, oops. <laughs> a lot of Erlenmeyer flasks and the like, bubbles, and then uh, there's Bunsen burner preparing for an explosion. There's the two of them on the hood, as previously seen. Oh, there's a bit of a bit of trouble with the uh, yeah. I think I think this one's maybe a little worse for the wear. The years in its packaging did not treat it well. On this side, we've got a terrified looking beaker, not an unfamiliar uh, expression for the poor little guy. Very cool, very cool series. Um, So I'm not, it's, it's hard to say, right? Because these are cooler cars, like especially the, especially Piggy, uh, especially the ones that are real. The real cars are all actually very cool, um, which when I was looking at them in the, in the blisters, I didn't, I didn't think that I'd like them, but I especially didn't think I was going to like this, this Piggy weird VW, but, um, it's very appealing. It's very appealing um, once you get it in your hand. Um, these cars are not interesting to me, um, but the the art has a lot more effort put into it and is is very satisfying, with the possible exception of the Ralph car. Um, and uh, I look forward to trying to find more of these. They're 20 years old or something now. Let's see. Um, Right. Oh, it does say the name, Bill Elliott. And they have a proof of purchase. Maybe I can send in my proofs of purchase for... Uh... Why do you not say the year anywhere? 2002. So, yeah, 20 years old. And these are, I think, 2020.
their cases to say, for sure. I can't remember when that Muppet movie came out. 2020. Um, I haven't got a lot more to, to say about these. Um, if I had to pick two cars that were the winners here, I'd go with this piggy one. Um, it's great. Hot Wheels did an amazing job here. Um, and I'd probably go with this I love I love Gonzo and I love I love how much went into the the portraits on the side there but this Bunsen burner one it makes me so happy that they they did Bunsen uh burn uh Dr. Bunsen honeydew and uh Beaker Bunsen burner sorry um yeah, it makes me happy to see to see them in the in the selection, you know, representing the Muppets. Because the Muppets is so much more than just the the main characters. God, um, I hope that you're having a really nice day, and that you continue to do so.